abortion. Ah, a great topic for any first date. Last May, Texas tried to ban abortion in a new way. They didn't outlaw it, but they made it possible to sue anybody who gave or helped someone get an abortion, right? And then if you win, you would get at least $10,000. So, for example, if I drove someone to an abortion clinic in Texas, anybody can sue me for $10,000. Anybody on earth. You, my seventh grade girlfriend, Brad Pitt, anybody. Snitches get riches. And the reason Texas structured the law this way is so that the Supreme Court couldn't overturn it. But yesterday, the Supreme Court looked at this case anyway, and they didn't sound too happy with Texas getting cute like this. Today, as protesters rallied outside the Supreme Court, inside for the first time, a majority of justices signaled they are not comfortable with the new Texas law. Conservative justices Brett Kavanaugh and Amy Coney Barrett today question whether that loophole should be closed. Kavanaugh theorized that a left-leaning state could offer a $1 million bounty against those who sell an assault rifle like an AR-15, then claim it wasn't using state power because only private parties could bring the suits. Uh-oh. Looks like the conservative justices are gonna have to choose what they care more about, guns or fetuses. And this is tough. That is, unless... What if women gave birth to guns? That's it! We just make women give birth to guns, then everybody wins. I will say, this really shows you how bullshit this law is, right? Because banning abortion has been the goal for conservatives for over, what, four decades now? But even they aren't willing to do it like this. Like, it would be like a lonely guy finally losing his virginity, but only because he fell into the gorilla pit at the zoo. It's not what he wanted. It's what he wanted, but not what he wanted. And the justices are right. This law could lead to a future where everyone is just suing each other all the time. And let's be honest, there are already too many lawsuits in America. I mean, America had to make Jerry Springer a judge. Yeah, Jerry Springer. He has a court show now. Yeah, they were like, who's that guy who used uh, to have conjoined twins slap each other on TV? Yeah, give him a robe. He's a judge now. We need more judges. We need more judges. All right, but let's move on to a story about cryptocurrency. You know, it's like if money got into vaping. Everyone has heard of Bitcoin, of course. But did you know that there are thousands of other digital coins out there? Why? Because anyone can make a cryptocurrency. You, my seventh grade girlfriend, Brad Pitt, anybody. All you need is a computer and the willingness to bore your friends to death at parties. Anyway, the other day, an exciting new cryptocurrency came out called Squid, that, that the creator said was inspired by Squid Game, which is another thing that people do. They give their money a name based on a TV show or a meme, and then people who like that thing buy the coin, which, let's be honest, is the stupidest way to invest in something. Because what if the thing that you're a fan of becomes unpopular? I mean, trust me. That's how I got stuck with $10,000 worth of Cuomo coin, and now I can't touch it. But so many people wanted squid coins that the price of each coin shot up to nearly $3,000, which is when all the people selling it took all that money and disappeared. That squid game cryptocurrency we've been talking about on the program looks like it was part of a scam. What happened is called a rug pull. The coin's creators, they just abandoned the project by exchanging the coin for cash. They walked away with $3.3 million, or every dollar ever invested in Squid Coin. They left 40,000 investors holding the bag after the crash. There's a scam. Case closed. Oh, man. I feel bad for these people. I mean, not, not too bad, because did they not see the show? Were these people like, wow, these nice Squid Games people are offering me easy money. What could go wrong? I mean, this is one advantage that real money has over crypto money, because the government can't just cash out and leave, you know? You'll never see Biden hopping on Air Force One like, ha ha, I converted all the dollars to yen. Sayonara, Jack. Come on, let's get out of here, man. I did a little malarkey. <laughs> if you want to invest your money smartly, let me give you some advice. What you need to do is go to a bar near Wall Street at around five o'clock, hide in the bathroom, and then you see what professional investors are saying. That's how I ended up investing in a little thing called cocaine. Made a lot of money doing that. All right, and finally, let's talk about space travel. One day it'll be as glamorous and romantic as it is in science fiction. We'll fly past stars and beautiful ships and fight with laser swords and make out with our sisters. But we didn't know that she was our sister at the time, which makes it all right. But right now, that future is light years away. SpaceX is faced with another engineering problem, this time in the bathroom 
A leaky toilet is the latest issue on board the SpaceX Dragon capsule, which means everyone on board won't have a toilet during their journey. The four astronauts will have to rely on backup undergarments. Mm. I think they mean diapers. Officials did not say how long the crew would be without an inoperable toilet. You know, it's pretty humbling that no matter what technological advances we come up with, we've still got to deal with our poop. Which, let's be honest, is going to be really embarrassing if we ever meet aliens. Greetings, Earthling. Would you like to know the mysteries of the un... I'm, I'm sorry, did, did you just defecate in your pants? Yeah, man, sorry about that, dude. It was a really long flight. And I'm wearing diapers, though, so it's cool. Tell me about those secrets. You know what? We just remembered we have a thing in another galaxy. See you around, maybe. Don't come back here. But, you know, when we think about it, what is so embarrassing about diapers, huh? I, like, I honestly think that diapers are underrated. Like, if diapers didn't already exist and someone introduced them now as a hot new technology in 2021, be honest, people would be excited about them. Guys, what if I told you you never had to worry about finding a bathroom ever again because you would always be carrying one with you, huh? You'd make a killing on Shark Tank, Barbara. I know you take dumps, so.